inside. He's definitely not the typical house cat. When the dogs are getting too rambunctious and I'm telling them that's outside play, but the dogs are ignoring me, he will come out like, um, excuse me, she said that's outside play. And they will literally go, oh, okay, my bad, and they'll head outside. He's unique for sure, but he's a wild boy. If he gets bored, he's gonna find his own source of entertainment. He's got a cat wheel for exercise in which he enjoys running and a whole lot of toys to keep him enriched. Sometimes I feel like he's more like one of the dogs. <laughs> Miles' shelter photo came across my Facebook wall one day and he looked so sad. So I was talking to a friend of mine. I'm like, I'm just gonna go down and meet him. Turns out he was in the sick ward of the shelter. They thought he had a respiratory infection. And as a result, he was able to go home with me that day. So when I got him home, it was evident within like an hour or two, he was a lot sicker than just a simple respiratory infection. He was sneezing blood. He had wounds on the back of his neck that were heavily infected. I was able to get him in to the first available appointment with the vet. Hi, baby. How are you feeling this evening? After about two and a half months, he regained his health and little by little, his energy and his personality just started shining through. It's a house full of rescues, four dogs and two cats. And he has a different relationship with all of them. I call him Kitty Dog because he wants to be a part of the pack. They'll turn around and groom one another. And then Miles is like, get that big old tongue off of me, dude. <laughs> he has quite the sense of humor. But without a doubt, there's a lot of laughter um, from the zoomies, from literally bouncing off walls to playing with the dogs. And I just think that's the cutest thing ever. Hi, handsome boy. Would you like to come out? And uh, he's definitely been a tremendous addition to the house, as wild as he is. It's time to watch more.